recording now. Everything good? I think so. Yeah. Here we go. Data has updated. That should move. Do I gotta move this out of the way? Out of the way! Let's see what here. There we go. <coughs> Let's create one. So, uh, welcome to, uh, Super Robot Wars. 30! 30th anniversary. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'll get this in, but we'll, we'll try. So far, for my testing, it would be good. So, <laughs> let's start. Do beginner mode. So these two are the characters that you can choose from. We're choosing this one because I like this guy. We'll leave it by the default. The tank is birthday. Zero six blood type hole. Now, often I'm going to probably gonna choose this one. You can choose the area that you're in. It's actually pretty cool. We're going to choose the colony. Mainly because I, I mainly, mainly because I like the uh, super uh, I like uh, the Gundam franchise, so I want to start with those guys. Whoa. <coughs> Holy shit! Is that animated? Dude. Ha 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 ha, I didn't play the demo, I didn't play all the space with demo. Shinuchuriku <laughs>戦乱<笑> Everything seems to be going good, I believe, so far. Earth Federation Millie Academy 30. Man, this colony is a wreck. Are you a refugee too? Nah, I'm just a traveler, I guess. Huh, <laughs> thought. Though, really, I guess I'm just running, so what's the difference? It's really hard to tell, things are bad outside of a hilly too. Oh yeah, I traveled all over, pretty much everywhere, just like, just like this. Even here in Side 7, Sand Scarce is, uh, going for broke. Damn it, there are no, no peace any, anywhere in the world anymore. It's also like, it's also like any of this is new. There's always been new battles and conflicts and wars pretty much everywhere for the last 10 years. It's all the all because of the EFF failed us. Oh dear. What were they supposed to do? It's been a non-stop fighting since the one year war. The hell uprising holy shit. Huh. 
Mercury War, the Lunar Conflict, and the Primeville War. Even those who ended, ended the conflicts between Earth and space continued to age, and then the whole thing with Laplace's box happened too. When Emperor Relus was slain, we thought we would finally have some peace, and instead the Federation lost any trust in the people it still had in it. Now as Anscar was filling in the gap, taking territory as if it was always theirs. On top of that, those Wakuru aliens are attacking. Like, what's gonna happen to us? Boy, not a way of sunshine to be seen. Anyone who to complain under these circumstances, don't be too hard on them. Well, you seem pretty composed by comparison. Sure, after all, if we let ourselves wallow in despair, that will, that will spread right back to these refugees. <coughs> so you're... Yeah, I'm one of the students of the Military Academy 30. Literally, please don't hit pretty hard, but you're still trying to give these folks a hot meal and blink it out. Let me guess, go to the Military Academy, so this is a military mandate? Now, just what our student council president decided to do. Honestly, the EFF chain, our command is basically in shambles at this point. What with the chaos and all? You gotta live for the moment you're in and do what you can. While you wait for others, or you'll end up doing nothing. I figured a military academy student would be a bit more wicked than they're thinking. You're pretty flexible. Well, I guess so. I don't know why. It seems like that's just kind of the folk we, who ended up here. The colony alien is under Federation administration. And thanks to that, Zangifer is pretty harassing us, but we got plenty of supplies, so our academy has been able to take folks in who lost everything. <coughs> but does that mean you might get hit again? Maybe out by a particular colony bunch, we're probably the safest from military success. Since we have our own unit and whatnot. Hey, you don't seem injured or anything, man, helping out directing the refugees. Who, me? Do what you can, the best you can, is our student council president sketch page. Hope you don't mind me applying it to you. Do what you can, the best you can, huh? Yeah, alright. It's a decent attitude, I like it. Oh ho! You kinda look like the loner type. Glad to see you're a good guy. Yeah, I hear that a lot. <coughs> huh? There are you can. How does it What is it, man? Phil, need you to spill your heart as we stare death in the face? Please, there's no time for jokes. Didn't you hear the podcast? Call for the emergency summons? Huh? No, actually. Was there one? I knew it. Why I've been searching around, please get the mechanic department together and bring it up to Doc 12. Aw oh, man, but calling up the cadets? I guess the youth really been set too high now. Sounds rough. I don't know if there's anything you can do, but I guess if we're gonna call us up. What can. Uh, up, it's what you can, best you can, time. Well, hope we meet again, friend. Hope we meet again, huh? Fat chance in hell these days, really. I'm guessing you're a civilian? Yeah, that's right, the guy was asking me to help out, but... I'm sorry, I gotta get going to the dock myself. Ah, oh, don't worry about me, I'll find something I can do to help. Thank you very much, good luck with anything, everything. Huh, well, I actually gotta do that now since I've already been saying good luck. <laughs> the siren! The Zanzibar attacking again. The Zanzibar attacking again. Cause I better hurry it up too. Now then, what can I do? Guess there's only one thing, huh? Only in Doc 13. I wonder if they 
called us so suddenly, but we're exactly at the quarters. The operation, mechanical, and technical departments look every remaining look like every remaining student in the academy. Still, should we really be here? The enemy's coming for area on right the second. Two different crises, I guess. Let's just enjoy the part for now. Oh, sure. And then the spelling though, I had no idea the alien even had a Doc 13. This place reeks of military secrets. Oh, my curiosity is begging to be set loose. Oh, it's just one of those guys. Well, Mare. Ma 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 I'm just gonna call you Mare. You're really earning that mad scientist of alien times again. I guess I respect you, but can be so thrilled. By all, by all of this, but we're all, we're all, we're all one robot attack death. Oh, thanks, Lee. I'll take that as a confidence. <laughs> oh, boy, stop calling me that already. So there's a question for you, Mary. Isn't the dock a little too big? Good eye, Julie. You're not the ace of the mechanical department for nothing. What do you mean? The EFF ships on the water from Gravel River are about 600 meters. But by the looks of it, the dock is built to accommodate a ship significantly bigger than that. But the colony ship is a ship of that size, size in it. It does. It's ready for you right behind my head. So to be honest, we only learned about it moments ago. Instructor Lunal. So you got called into instructor? I'm not your instructor anymore. I have been assigned to the post of executive officer. Executive officer. That's right, which means I'm your captain, Mitsuba Gray Valley. President Mitsuba? Student Council President is the captain? What is this all about? Listen everyone, all personnel here at the moment have been commissioned as a crew to the cutting edge all-purpose combat mothership, uh, dis district, dis oh my god. Cutting edge all-purpose mothership, the uh, district. We'll have time for explanation later. XO begin marking the crew immediately, please. Aye aye, Captain. Wow! Fucking hell, sounds like Edgar over there trying to blow up the whole family to bits. <coughs> all, ha all hands aboard the vehicle will follow your terminals and structures and find your posting. There's a lot for us to ask out of the blue. No complaining, all hands. Do what you can, the best you can. First mission is to get the Zangler unlocked. We have to get it done. Chapter 1, the Penny Beginning. Beginning. <coughs> oh, they're all dying. Enemy mobile suit troops have been eliminated. They should persuade the Federation to abandon their resistance and accept glorious li li libertarian of Alien. They're still silent, but. That's fine. We'll threaten them a bit. Make residents of this colony regret they ever started with the EFF. Oh okay. shit. What's our situation? It seems we've been a delay of loading our ships are assigned to men. Assigned men. I was told the pilot was among the casualties. There is no point in waiting for it to be loaded. Because the pilot was part of what casualties? The the Senegar and Teddy crew was supposed to meet meet it here at Elion, but they were perished in battle before they could reach us. That's why the why they're trying to crew the ship with a load of cadets. That's insane. Calm down, man. We need to focus on giving the main operator right now. We also need to keep the ship safe at any cost. The only thing we can do for the dead crew, it is to help keep the light hope, light of hope strong for the entire EFF. 
Some of the enemy officers might try to escape. Let's go to the control of the decks. On the docks. Miss Wuda, the enemy's coming to our dock. Don't we have anything to we can send out to intercept them? No, no, we don't. The colony contemplate of its dragons were destroyed in the last two battles. I hear Sanska had high performance suits than the EFF ones, but wait, report on all ship sections. But it'll take a few minutes before we are ready to launch. We don't have a few minutes. This can't be are we going to die here without ever accomplishing anything? This mech. They put it away in this crazy secret hangar and they didn't even bother posting the guard. The spraying was cutting edge, but some of that armor looked like it was passed on in a hurry. That tape looked like it was looks like it's pretty banged up. They must have gone pretty backed up in testing. And they were still putting it back together. And who put that visor on it? That really makes it look blindfolded. Covered in scars and can't see the world yet, huh? I think we're gonna get along just fine. <coughs> we'll still have one book book shoot left, huh? Oh, oh ma'am, a machine has just exited Doc 11 and is attacking the Zam Skill for us. Wait, Doc 11? That would be. Could it really be? What the hell is this with this machine? It's definitely no mobile suit. Damn, looks like the main reactor is locked up too. I think this thing can run on utility power though. The hockey bin 30. The hockey bin 30. Is the ship's energy deploy deployed with the ship as part of the cleanliness category of machines called Ripple Super? But who the hell is piloting it? Len, get me the pilot. But Brad. Tom's coming in. Argument 35, please respond. Oh, please say you're friendly. <laughs> yeah, 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 please don't shout in my ear. I know that voice. You're the person from the academy. And you must be that Lem girl I met. Didn't figure it would meet again like this. You're, you're a civilian. Why are you piloting a military machine? Yeah, and all the chaos that no one was really looking was really keeping an eye on this thing, so hey. I figured it would be a way to let it let a working bot like this go. This thing around. Do you really think we're going to release something like that? Okay, let me ask you then. You got any other bright ideas for how to keep the phone safe? I that's not. But wait, are you going to get the enemy with that machine? Trust me, if I was gonna book it, I would be long gone already. And hurry up and do it. Do what you can as best you can. That's the plan. He's handling the, the 30 so well. Now, how is a civilian? So this thing is a Calculum 30. I like it. It's a good machine. Yeah, I can do it with this thing. I'm a machine now, bitch. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Civilian. It's Edge. All I got a name, it's Edge Blood Claws. Could, could you have asked? Or just call me Edge. Understand, Edge, we're counting on you. Well, no, I really can't back down. Let's see what I can do. Don't get reckless if you can buy some time, that's good enough. I'll do, I'll do just that. I'll do what I can the best I can. So here we go. <coughs> Okay, so this is the combat method thing. Uh, on life for peace. We need choir morale to do like more like better attacks. And there's some that has ammo and some just cost energy. Some cost both. Show you. 
So if we can change weapon, we can also activate our spirit, which is intuition. And then it's like bullseye. How do I hit? Okay. And this is our hit chance. This is their hit chance. So they're gonna they they're gonna counter. Let's help let's see what this does. Damn, I'm not my stuck with you there. Charity work ain't my style. So I guess it's kinda kinda I guess this kind of life ain't all that bad. That's a bit laggy, but I'm recording. I hope it's fine. So far, it's fine. I'm going to Yes. So, as you can see, there's some stuff. There is two. That's all right. <laughs> now they're attacking. Now we can do action. We can counter, defend, or evade. Uh, I'm gonna counter. We use the beam sword. Now let's try the beam one, the photon rifle. <laughs> okay, all well, my self tests were pretty good. Well, <laughs> writing and casting the, this check by myself is gonna be quite tough. Edge, don't you worry, I said I'll do it and I'll do it. You know, as much as I can anyway. That's all I need, so hang in there. Uh, President, uh, Captain, I mean, something's coming. Federation reinforcements? It's just one suit. It's the League Militaire. Oh, you can't have it. It's a Gundam. Lucia, colony located. I was worried after I got separated from it. But now I know. I should be safe. It's a condom! A condom B. Oh, maybe. Ah, oh. Oh, darn it! I knew it! What the hell is going on now? That machine is with the League Militaire, a guerrilla organization to Bodin Zanska. Granted, they have powerful sponsors and suppliers on their side. And they developed their own mobile suits. So it's a bit hard to cross by my chest a group of gorillas. I heard about that. Apparently the league has been building a suit in fashion as a Gundam suit. 
For that white suit must be the gun of my life. One way or another, the enemy is my enemy, my friend. I hope let's team up. Hey Gundam, you hearing me? If we're gonna fight those Zanske idiots, I'll back you up. Backing up, I'm pretty sure I'm the one backing you up, from the looks of it. Aw oh, man, it all equals out at the end. Neither you nor I want to die, right? Simple math, I'd say. Fair enough. I'm... You see all... It... It will. We can talk once we've gotten through this. I'm Edge. Good to have you, kiddo. Uh, that gun the pilot, he seems very, uh, young. I can't believe I've made it in the hands of a civilian and a child. This is crazy. I'm a child, but so what? That means nothing. Thankfully, a world where a bunch of guillotine wielding maniacs are free to do as they please is already crazy. Lucio seems mad. No, I'm not. I'm not mad. I just... I just don't want to die here. To the overhand cannon. That was serious, but it finally I I finally feel like I see what Zanscare's plans are now that I've come up to space. This is an awful war. I just can't let it go on forever. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was kind of overkill, but okay. Yeah! There we go, we got... all got the XP count and their strength. Oh, we can get this one. Oh, and it also tells you if you have a chance to get it down. Oh, so I think Be careful, more time. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, damn. Now that's a bad spot for them to show up. This is bad. Duh. Learn science support. Engine crew reports the main drive is standing at normal levels. We're ready then, let's go. Then they're engaged, set sail. And then, go. I think she's saying, I think, I think she said, you're under engaged. And we said, set sail. What the hell? A giant battleship. The central handover. A bare multi cannon charge for firing. And over for very much. What the fuck? Stop copying her. We're going to do it for Earth tomorrow.
process is nuts. The component elimination of all active reinforcements. Rachel is hard to link up with the allied units and determine all the main hostages. That's not an issue with Highland, it's a whole royal flush. Thank you, Edge. Huh? You protected the dungeon. And that's the future. Oh, come on, you're making a big deal out of this. It is a big deal. We proved just how a big deal we are with the... This With the this Point the attack is time to turn the table. Ah, right, Captain. Go through this. The purpose we can entrust the rest. Oh, no. Use the beam spark gun with support. Support defend. All hands remember, when you oppose a chance to drop, to give a hundred percent percent for our mission. We all are afraid we all have been ancients. We will ask that you all have a strong heart and swallow that fear. Ah, right, Captain. At least I pour the last in my hands. Back at the mobile suit directly ahead. Master, commence attack. さっさとブリッジを潰す。パイロットには死んでもらう。機関科長、中央フレーム Actually, the Vulcan. ビルスーツとの戦いも慣れたもんだ。追い込んだ。当たるわけには。こっちの攻撃も受けろよ。鉄砲を届ける。そうは今夜が下ろさないってな。わあ、ですね。おし。投げられながら。ああ。I you should die 
できないなんて言っていられる状況じゃないミサイルキャニスターを使います了解ミサイルキャニスター攻撃用意えー One. Army forces have been defeated. We did it. We really did it. All, for, all of us. Yes, Captain. Mission successful. It's too early to start the party, though. What in those? Are those sound scare units? We're not getting any IFF by those the Federation though. Want to attack? Fine, we got no choice to engage him. Okay, uh, push you. Push up. Need to back us up. It looks like they're treating me as a target too. I don't have any choice anyway. All units can must attack. I'm out of the foe. The Dissinger cannot accept defeat. Oh, no. Interface. We already used all our units. Oh, bitch. I'm back on. After the enemy machine doesn't match anything in our database. The unknown seems to be targeting the procedure. Gather as much data as it is possible. An enemy has no data on it, and one that seems to have known about it except the distance. そう簡単には抜けない目標の離脱を許してはなりません衝撃砲一番二番攻撃用意一番二番攻撃用意総体速度合わせよしさあ<笑>So I'm back. Okay. Back to the Vulcans. What about one? No one pilot in it. Well, fine, so at least I don't have to worry about feeling guilty. I think I'm going to die now. You're going to die now. You're going to die now. You're going to die
What the heck is that thing? I'm the only machine with something we need around here, damn it. ちょっと、こうなっちまうとな。ミサイルキャニスター攻撃用意。Determined, but they are still unmanned. You're telling me such powerful combat machines have no pilots? Is the enemy a scout unit? Or are they here for the passenger? get through that. Thank you, Rusho. I'd like to thank you in person if you wanted to dock the dock with our ship. I've been separated by allies and I wasn't sure what to do anyway. I'm happy to accept your help. As for you, Edge, hey, no need to thank me. I just did what a decent person should. Not at all. It's thanks to you that we were able to get the thinking of your launch. Thank you very much. I would like, like to thank you very much. Sorry, but I'm not much of for my enemies. However, if you try to run, I will shoot you. Huh? If you use a military machine for our authorization, you're under arrest. 
got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'm the show. Time to go and make him a board. I was trying to meet up with some other allies, but we were separated in a fight. I'm very grateful you were able to pick me up. Something wrong? No, it's just you're so much like young. Is it strange you have a child to be fighting? I suppose it's not my place to say it, only you can answer that question. The fact that I have barely managed to drag into that wall, I've had to myself on some level. I don't know what you mean, but I guess this ship has a bit of a story of its own, huh? The Earth Federation for this and the League not to our main fight separately, but we both oppose and scale. It's a big enough ship to open us, I think. Well, We'll take care of you for the moment, Michelle. Michelle. Thank you. Now to address the real problem. Ed Sinkos. There's no point in resisting to get yourself up. I will not hesitate to open fire if you refuse to obey our orders. I hope you're having fun with your friends because uh, I'm not resisting. Let's put it a shock. I managed to dump the I thought you been 30 and one. Last time I checked, I did nothing wrong, so where do I have to run from? Maybe military will say I'm a bad guy, but my will say I did pretty darn well. He's absolutely right, Miss President. Oh, sorry, Captain. I agree. We only had lots of news work because Edge was there fighting. Well, that's true, bud. I understand how you feel. This fact has been formally commissioned by my soldiers now. As a soldier, we have to obey military regulations. I'm not a soldier in case you leaked out of your brain. You keep quiet. I'm not going to quietly wait for you to punish me for breaking the rules. I'm not subjugating to you. If that's how you're going to play. So you are going to do this. Hold on, Mr. Reynolds. Thinking about it, a Q jumping into a cutting edge military unit and blowing away the enemy. That sounds a bit like Amuro Way story, if you ask me. Hmm, I suppose, but you can't seriously be comparing this man to the Federation's white right meteor. Yeah, after all, I'm a trustworthy, unreliable, homeless variant. Huh. I didn't go that far. So you're the captain. Yes, I am. Nah, just, just, just thinking you're exactly the kind of person I think you should be. But that's supposed to mean? I would have an actually edge swing close. Got a bit more to say? Yes, aside from your illegal use of Octoman 30, there's something I want to ask. I wanted you to thank you for your help. And that's what I wanted to see here. You're very welcome, Ken. I mean, it'd be nicer if you showed the thanks for the credit, but you know. All right, that was my personal statement. Now to do my job as captain. Although I'm honestly not happy about it, I can't see any other way to let you go free. I need to talk to my superiors about what I should do with you. Oh, uh, sure, fine. That's what it takes to completely clean things up. I'll let you see what kind of answer you get before I resign myself to the fire squad. So you're just waiting for us to get careless so that you can make your escape, aren't you? I don't see any need to, honestly. I thought. After all, I don't regret what I did. I bet I can count on the captain too anyway. Huh? I trust you, captain. I, of course, I'll do what I can on your behalf. For now, though, I need to report everything to the headquarters. There's no need for that, of course. All hands, I am Commander Flex Blackwood, head of the Dillinger's Pro Construction Project. First things first, I'd like to congratulate you all on your successful launching the danger under such harsh conditions. Commander Flex Blackwood, a man tossed, uh, tossed a bunch of very trained military units into a crew of a top secret battleship himself. On top of that, he heads up to the construction project of the ship as well. Just how much power does he hold in the military, I wonder? I really see the point of your situation. I have been informed of a civilian who part of the Hockerman 30 without permission. 
As you will likely know, the Air Federation forces are facing an unprecedented challenge. The drug threat is our key to overcoming that. It's a maturation of a highest priority. Assigning a group of students into special detachment to clue to the ship is also part of that. Nano Flex, I would like to request that you explain our next mission plan to us. The Danger is an all purpose combat mothership built to the obsession that it would carry an entirely autonomous corpse. To put it simply, you will not be integrated into an existing military chain, chain of command. So, so you will order Blockly to develop the Danger as you suspect in the L3 sector. Does that mean specifically? Thinking about what it means and taking what you see fit for the best course of action to the end of his your directive. Is your directive. I will transfer Darkness to the Dixie and fuck down to each section other than, and other necessary files to your main computer. This is ridiculous, but still students. No, you are no longer students, you need to understand that. Furthermore, you will not take any further questions on this matter. Commodore, what should we do about the citizen Commodore Hartman 30? Well, I don't know. What should I do? Let me tell that question to you. I said, what do you, what would you do? As you saw, decided the development of the ship is key to overcoming the current situation and the high priority to the UFS. Though there's no way to know that we had the time to back us in his defense of the ship, but the Hartman 30 was in line, was in line with that goal. I believe we should have an exception. Dismiss the matter. I believe I have an exception. Dismiss the matter without any punishment. The election of Pekka Ali, Alton Freddy, is part of the special department for furthermore military department. Unfortunately, plotting is civilian and use it is off the table. Understood, sir, in that case, I would like to place them under my supervision. Say what? In that case, we have no civil personnel, and this can be tracked as a pilot. I was looking to serve as a Hackman 30 pilot as a military attendee. To believe he's a servant of that role, I believe that's what we'll have to find out as we go. I have faith in a pilot, at least they'll do their best for deserving of it. And what about you? Are you okay with this? Well, I guess. I'm getting paid, right? Is it too late to ask if I'm getting hazard pay too? Commander Mr. Bud. This is your judgment that I will expect it. Thank you very much. Well then, everyone. I would like to say this much in mercy. I am excited that we must place a mission like this upon your shoulders. Make sure that our project headquarters will provide the support whenever that you can. Salvation enough to the humans who live on it are on your shoulders. I pray for your victory. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, Joe, let's save let us save a planet already. But we have a hunt and we don't make good use of that AOS system. What? What the heck is AOS? The advanced organic operation system is pretty much what it says on the tin. Basically a checked organic computer OS. It's one heck of a thing and one heck of a name. This is what you expect for the common attached product to this. The definite use of the AOS to apply various effects of personnel under its command it will be fundamental to a tactical training. Our mission will help us AOS future command the thing which about. Which involves acquiring a great deal of data for the shipping our unit. The data we collect gets converted to MXP, PP, and credits. MXP is experience in all team using the AOS subject. Keep me as combat data for our pause performance, skill, and training. Parents are mainly material currents if we collect them, destroy enemy units, and use for upgrade next levels. Oh yeah, we can prove our teams using our MXP, PP, and credits. And don't forget the AOS update before we go to Pinker and Barnett. Gotcha. <coughs> All that's heard, our captain is starting we're off to a journey of battle. As a commander in our battle, the general battle is ready to save humanity. We're going to head up to that standard, there's only one thing we must do. We must do what we can at the very best we can. Yeah, we're in here! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
with no way to refuse. I could say no, a good deed goes unpunished. Shouldn't have expected anything good to come out of this. Still, what may I guess I'd like to be able to stop hiding and walk into the light of day without shame again. I if I'm ready for the high waking officer quarters. So the danger of endless drinking has begun. Of course, I understand. I realize it is our first only hope. Yes, indeed. All I can do now is place it in their hands. It's planet Earth. And it's a wall for all humanity. So I thought our mission case was a pitch. <laughs> okay, for the next four minutes, go. You have ten fallen points to obtain a stinger. Ooh, high performance radar. Holy fuck. Hell yeah. I'll get all these. So, once we rack up enough kills, they can turn into pages. Missions. We only have two missions we can do, Awaken Hero and this one, which difficulty is right here. Which is new for the uh, World of Wars. Okay. Can see. So then there's formation for equipping spots. Let's do. Do you want to additional? I already have this. Upgrade the AOS system. So this is the AOS system. Um, there's all of these. I think I'm gonna do this one. To do upgrade costs. Now we can do upgrades. Upgrades for these. Now, oh, holy shit, I can manage. So I'm gonna upgrade the weapons. I always upgrade the first unit, I upgrade the other one kind of later. I run the first thing, so we, we probably won't need to. We'll, we'll upgrade this one for you later. Most likely. We'll, we'll get. We'll get better than this game. Skill programs. We can have and run skills. Anyway, this is all the time we kind of have for this episode. Uh, 
Next episode, the Babadoo Awakens Hero. Babadoo Awakens Hero. And then we'll do this one. <laughs> Actually, we could also do these. Yeah, we can do these later. How can I? Okay. Oh, either way, uh, I'm, I'm gonna end the recording here for now, because I wanna, I wanna do hour-long intervals. So I don't want it to be, like, too long. So anyway, so yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and I'm, I hope this actually, like, is working correctly. Otherwise, if the audio is, like, fucked up, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do.